Hello everyone, welcome to the AI practical series. In this particular session, we will study about the tipping problem solution using the fuzzy logic controller. So, how we can find a solution for this tipping problem using the fuzzy logic controller? So, fuzzy logic actually it it uh, can it consists of a fuzzy inference system. We'll see the diagram afterwards with proper fuzzy sets. Then we have something called as membership functions. Uh, which have value from 0 to 1 and uh, and we have some rules okay? so so as to control that particular system now fuzzy logic is of course it is useful where we have to deal with vague imprecise inputs and outputs so tipping problem is one of the where we, we, we this is one of the example of that particular problem a simple one so tipping here is consists of like if we go to any restaurant or hotel we uh, we give the tip to the waiters so that tip is based on the quality of service and the food so here the quality may be a low quality service or maybe the medium quality or the high quality the food quality can be high it can be low so based on that we actually give the tip so uh, we have this is a simple fuzzy logic controller system it has the input uh, actually input is at this point so the input comes from the external world this is where the input comes from so because the input is a crisp value okay so we need to convert it to a fuzzy value so this is a fuzzy fire fuzzy fire converts the crisp values to fuzzy values then this values are, uh, whatever input we are giving it goes to the inference engine now inference engine it sees uh, it, it actually uh, gets the values from the fuzzy fire and it matches the rules so here we have a set of rules so here we have the rule base so out of the rules maybe there may be many number of rules so fuzzy this in inference engine it sees which rules are fired and what output what should it infer what should be the output so it gives the output based on the rules and the inputs and then the output given by the inference engine is a fuzzy output so here we have a d fuzzy fire this is a d fuzzy fire part okay sorry this is this this part is a d fuzzy fire so what it what it does is it converts the fuzzy inputs to the crisp output so at the external world we have we, we need actually crisp values so this does that particular job so this is a simple diagram of a fuzzy logic controller so now let us see the python code so this is the required python code as we can see we have to first of all i'll just explain the code then we'll run this code on uh, google colab so very first thing is we need to import the libraries numpy for doing the numerical operations and we have this uh, sk fuzzy so this they are they will be used for getting the fuzzy values and the control for and for the control systems then in this part quality and service and tip now inputs this antecedents in case of fuzzy logic system we have uh, inputs in the form of uh, we can say if then else we have the like this so we have this inputs as antecedents okay so input are the antecedents so if this condition these are the conditions and you can see there is a consequent so consequent is the result so if antecedent then the consequent so we define this quality and the service as the input and here we define the values from 0 to 10 with a step so 0 11 so we this is actually from uh, it is 1 to 10 and then here it's it uh, increases with step of 1 so this is the quality similarly for service and tip is from 0 to 25 so we have uh, 1 to 25 so it is 0 to 26 so we start from 0 here and it increases by 1 then uh, the quality we, we need to define the quality okay so we define the membership values for the quality so quality can be poor okay so poor is uh, you can see uh, we are using a tri mi this is the triangular membership function and this is the value starting from zero okay and we have the average okay so from zero to five we have this and from five to ten and then th this is the last one so for average we have this again a triangular membership function for excellent also we have the same triangular membership function these are the values which will be defined we'll see in the graph whatever we are defining here then similarly for services we have the same thing okay uh, the poor service average and excellent service then for the output the tip 
it can be low it can be medium it can be high based on the of course here we will define the rules so here also we have the three triangular triangular membership functions for low medium and high okay so this is the high tip the medium tip and low tip then these are the three rules okay so here we can see what the rule says so this is the rule rule number one rule number two there are three rules so first rule says that if quality is poor and service is also poor then tip is low then second rule if service is average tip is medium okay and in the third rule if co co if quality is excellent service is excellent then tip is also high so we can make some more rules but i have just uh, given just few rules we can even make some more rules but i have just given three rules then uh, we have the fuzzy controller here we can see tipping dot so this is the we create the fuzzy control system so this fuzzy control system is uh, having three rules rule 1 rule 2 and rule 3 then uh, we create the simulation in the next command here we have the simulation okay so this is the simulation okay and then next what we see is we give the inputs so we need to give the input so here we are giving the input this quality is uh, 6.5 and service is 9.8 so based on this it will compute this values based on uh, it will compute the output based on this values it will compute the tip okay so we can even change the values for different out getting the different outputs so here we uh, it will print the output based on this but what the controller gives and we get the output in form of tip also this part actually it will uh, when we run the pro when the when we run the code it will show us the uh, membership values of the quality the service and the tip it will show triangulars because we have used the triangular uh membership functions so now let us execute the code in google colab i'm using google colab in case if you are using a uh, python id then ensure that this library is they are insta installed properly so uh i i will install i've already installed this libraries in, uh, in in google colab so i'll just run this code and then we'll see what output we are getting so first of all we import the libraries the first is the numpy so numpy is already installed but in case if you want to install so pip install numpy okay. so it is already installed so it is already installed so we need to install one more library so this is the library you install install scikit fuzzy So we'll install this library and then we'll run the code. So it is installing. So if this is not installed, you won't be able to run this code. So this is the next thing we do. So now it is successfully installed. Now let us uh, copy the code here. So if we are using Python ID, then we have to install both these libraries. Now let us go to the code part. So I will just copy the code. I'll just paste the code here. So this is the code required code. Now let us run the code. So we got the output. This tip is nineteen point something, as we can see. Sorry. So this is the output nineteen point eight something. Okay, and this is you can see the this is the quality. This part shows the quality. Uh, fuzzy. Uh, this is the membership function. Okay, this part. Then we have this one. The second one is the service one. Okay. as you can see we are getting the average this is the average part this is the poor and this is the green one is the excellent part then this is the tipping okay this is the tipping output so this are uh, this is how we perform this particular uh, practical so that's all for this particular session thanks for watching